So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why that particular account you're trading is not deep growing. So I'm going to be giving you tips on how to grow any small account or any trading account that um, you are currently trading, right? So guys, before we go head straight to today's video, I've been receiving lots of messages of people asking me how they could um, register for my mentorship program, right? So um, currently, I'm still running something because the way I'm doing it now, I'm just at least trying to reach out to those that don't really have enough to register for mentorship, right? So currently, I'm running a lifetime mentorship for a little fee. It's mainly for those that don't really have enough to register for mentorship, right? Because I know how how this <laughs> the country is, right? And how situation is to most people, especially from speaking from experience too right so guys the link is in the description box so this lifetime mentorship is the offer is limited right it's just for i think when this video is going to be dropping maybe two three days before the offer ends right it's just for 29 dollars lifetime mentorship right so guys go straight to the description box click the link register and join the group see you on the other side so first off you know that strategy is the foundation right Yes, we know strategy is the foundation, but strategy is just 10%. But then again, you need a good strategy to first of all have an edge over the market, right? So if you truly have a strategy that works, you've tested it, you've tried it, and you know that, yes, the strategy works perfectly, right? But why then again is it so hard for me to grow that particular account? Then it means that there are some things you need to follow. There are some principles, there are some rules you need to in order to come out profitable you understand in order to grow the accounts at the end of the whole trading maybe months or the period of time you are trading that particular account so now the first stuff is you need to have a fixed risk management strategy i used to say it's for each account you need to have a trading plan that guides it right so first off jot down a trading plan for that particular account what is the risk management i'm going to use on this particular account first of you need to know your risk appetite so know um, how much you'll be risking on that particular account how to know if that's your risk appetite is ask yourself if i lose like three to four trades in a row will my risk still remain the same <laughs> so if it's not then it means that you shouldn't start with that i used to say if you know that you cannot maintain a particular risk in a long period of time right Try as much as possible not to even use it from the beginning okay so first off make sure you have a fixed risk per trade right and the next thing here is that you need to make sure that all trade has a good or a positive risk to reward i know people used to say i over um hype this risk to reward of a thing right so you see people focus more on pips and all that but me i used to say if you're risking 30 pips right or you're risking 50 pips and the trade is in 50 pips in, in, um, um, in profit to me it's not a good one to be, be jubilating at least it should be times two of it first off before you can say yes truly at least i've got like one is to two risk to reward on this trade that's a good trade for me right something above one is to two not just one is to one because in the long run you see that it will be so difficult to grow an account especially in a losing streak imagine you are having a losing streak right maybe the first three trades were lost only for you to take the next trade and maybe it went 30 pips in favor and you just close the trade knowing quite well you were also risking um 30 pips so it doesn't make sense that's why i said make sure each trade you take right is worth it i used to say something i don't focus on taking any random trades right first of all, i check the trade i check the um the the, the 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 tp points right at least the tp one should be giving me like one is to two so in case i decide to close from that tp one i know that I at least have backed one ratio two which is if you're risking 100 you are getting like 200 dollars right so first off make sure that each trade has a positive risk reward so the next point here is compound your trading account separate that particular account that you are withdrawing on a daily basis from the one that you are trying to grow in the long term right so that you don't find yourself making profit and at the end of the day you are withdrawing from it immediately you get there are some people that as they are making profit today today they are withdrawing <laughs> you get yes it's fine because that account might be for that reason so you understand but if you want to grow an account constantly because let's say for instance you made profit today you just withdraw the next day loss loss you understand the the profit you made that would have covered for those loss for another profit to come in to make the account grow you get things like that so separate um that particular account you are withdrawing constantly from one that you know that you want to grow constantly to a particular or a reasonable amount so the next point here is you need to understand trade management right try as much as possible to know how to maximize a winning trade how to take advantage of a winning trade right that's one thing i've learned over this period of time to do and it has really been a game changer for me right um 
knowing when to maximize trade, knowing when to jump in, knowing when to go big, right? It's just like, it's the same thing. There's how, I think in my previous video, I even talked on how you can maximize trades, risking the same percentage, right? If you are risking 1% at the start, you get, it's how you can maximize it that you'll be risking 2%, but the risk at stake is still 1%. Okay, so in case you are just new, go back to that video. It's the last video I just dropped, I think, last week, right? So go to that video and you'll see how to maximize it because you need to know how to maximize a winning trade so as to keep your head off any losing streak. That's one thing. Risk to reward, adding together to that, <laughs> it will be so, so hard for you to blow an account or it will be so, so hard for your account to be so, so stuck in, um, <laughs> in drawdown or whatever, right? So since we are still talking on how to grow an account, which is also how to grow your capital, right? I think another way is also um, utilizing this platform well, right? I know there are lots of scam platforms out there that you don't even know which one to trust and you're feeling like, maybe let me just fund my small account. And yes, it's very fine, especially if you understand how to maximize trades, you know how to take advantage of a winning trade, you know how to pay attention to risk reward and all that, then I would advise you to stick to your personal account. But if you know that <clears throat> all these things too, you're already good at trading, you understand your strategy, but maybe account size is a the problem then you need to face or focus majorly on the prop firm side right so prop firm is another way of you growing your capital because it gives you more um, equity to trade right so you can just have a 10k account or 20k account and maybe make five percent ten percent it gives you this advantage in, in growing your account with less um, pressure unlike when you are trading your own personal small account. So the next point here is, I would say, focus on, um, that is, if you want to grow your account very fast, right, you also need to focus on the smaller time frame. Yes, it might even be a setup that you might want to hold for a long time, like you want to swing that particular setup, but there's how you can, if you are truly good with your analysis, right, you know how to, okay, this is this particular zone is a zone that I know if, if the market gets to, I'm going to be seeing a long term buy, right? And they say, where I used to say it, um, I used to put it, if you want to identify a, a good zone, a good level to trade off from, one thing you should ask yourself, knowing fully well, right, that any zone you are trying to pick a trade from, someone is trying, like, if you are trying to buy from a particular zone, just know it that some people are trying to sell off that particular zone too, right? So if I'm trying to buy now, right? And I noticed this particular zone too, there are a lot of people that are trying to sell. So if they want to sell this particular trade now, where will be their overall TP? At what point do I know that every seller in this market would want to run away from, right? So I try to identify that zone and it gives me more edge. It tells me now this particular zone it, where the overall TP is, is a good one for buy because most of the sellers are hopping out from that particular point, which means that market will react very well, right? So. First off, identify good zones, right? And know how to play or use your uh, <clears throat> the lower time frame very well because it gives you more edge, it gives you more risk to reward, right? Because your stop loss tends to be a bit smaller, not just that big stuff, right? But then again, since you know how to maximize all this smaller time frame, it will even help in maximizing trade setups, making more money from it, right? So take advantage of the smaller time frame, even if it's a swing setup, but first of all, know how to do your technicals very well know how to um <clears throat> know when the main move wants to start right and see most of the time if market hits a zone doesn't mean you just start buying immediately or selling immediately most of it's it starts creating some certain structure telling you that it's time for us to start going on that move right the next thing is just have a trading journal to track all these stops you might be making mistakes right in terms of not paying attention to some certain things i just list out here but with the trading journal it will tell you this particular trade was a one is to four and you close one is to one which wasn't fine right and this was the reason why it affected um these these that right so be able to track all these things have a trading journal there are different um files all out there both physical and the ones like you can get online maybe on your system like software or, or things like that that you can use to document your trade but i said if that is giving you a headache and as a trader that wants to be very very profitable then what you can do is um open the telegram channel and be sending the signal there see if you're sending a signal to someone you get that way i think it will really really help in in documenting trades with good pictures that you can use to track it back on the chat 
not just drawing and writing on your on your on your book right you get to track your trading data to know where to improve on to know things to fix and i think i think that's just it <laughs> no much talks right today is not the day we go to chat to show some stuff but guys i think this would really help so if you are new to this channel do well to hit the subscribe button turn on post notifications to get notified when i'm going to be dropping all that good tips and other educational videos like this right so see you guys on my next video